Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, it's a short demonstration of the Xtool D8 package. We're in a Volvo here, which as you can see, does have a few warning lights and warning messages on the dashboard. Uh, so we're gonna use this D8 tool to hopefully diagnose and reset these warning lights and messages. Uh, I will pop the link to this kit in the description below this video. There are fakes, there are clones on the market and they can damage your vehicle. So if you wanna make sure you're getting the genuine and official product, please do use the link in the description below. Okay, um, so we've got this tool plugged into the diagnostic port via this cable here. Um, we're gonna click on to diagnosis. The three main messages that we've got here are the warnings. Uh, we've got the airbag, we've got the ABS, and if we go through the message sender on the top, we've got an engine system service required, okay? Uh, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna, this is the, the vehicle list. Well, these are the European manufacturers, but it does cover a whole host of like the Asian, the American, the Chinese, Australia, and electric vehicles as well. But we're gonna go right down to the bottom and click on our Volvo here. I'm gonna go to manual selection, C menu, because it's a C30, so we'll select that. It's a 2008 model click OK, click on system selection and then it's presented us with a list of uh, systems that we can potentially diagnose on this vehicle. Uh, the list on this vehicle will, is not massive but it's because it's an older vehicle but um, if you were to use, a, use this tool on a more modern vehicle you'd probably see a lot more systems on this particular menu here okay. Um, but we're going to go in first of all and we're going to have a look at the airbag light. So it's this one here, supplemental inflatable restraint system SRS. It's going to go in and allow us to read the trouble code. So these are two fault codes that we've been getting. So it'll get, basically give you a description of the fault, which is what we've got here. Now we found that to be a loose connection underneath the driver's seat, uh, which we plugged back in, but obviously the, the fault codes will always still remain until you clear them, okay? And you can only clear them until the ECU is happy that the fault has been fixed, all right? So um, at, at the present time, we have fixed the fault, but the messages are still there, the codes are still there, and the warning light is still there. So our cue now is to go back click on the clear trouble code uh, click yes to that sometimes it asks you to turn the engine off but it doesn't really matter in, in cases like this uh, clear trouble code successfully keep an eye on the airbag light for a few seconds it should go off there we go and the airbag light has gone out okay and it's the same really for the other system so we've got anti-lock braking system you can see we've got the ABS and traction control warning lights go read trouble code now this was giving us a fault with the front right ABS sensor or wheel sensor or wheel speed sensor as it's also known um, we've got a flashing light there because we are interrogating that system um, so it's the same again really we've put the new sensor in we just need to go clear trouble code click yes to that and after a few seconds, we'll come out of this, um, that should remain steady. The no another normal light comes on here, um, and then they'll both go off. So the, the brake warning light has come on, and then they've both gone off there. So again, that's job done, and the ABS warnings have all gone. We are left with the engine system service required. So if we go into the engine system, um, it's giving us a fault with a mass airflow sensor or MAF. Now, we haven't fixed this fault yet. We do know that it does need a new mass airflow sensor or MAF. So we're gonna put that in and once we've done that, then it will allow us to clear the trouble codes and get rid of that message there as well. If we, if we scroll through the message sender, you'll see that that's a different thing. It's fuel. The, uh, the ABS and the airbag messages have now gone, you see. Um, so, so will the engine system service once we put the new MAF in and once we've been able to erase the codes for that. But this is just a short demonstration, as I say, of the Xtool D8, which is a, is a fantastic tool, actually. Um, it does special functions as well. also known as service functions but yeah I'll pop the link to this in the description below the video as I say there are fakes there are clones they can damage your vehicle it's just not worth going down that route um, but if you use the link below it will take you to the genuine and official product okay thanks very much for watching guys and I hope this helps